everyone so I was tagged by mommy tips by Cole to do the YouTube mom tag and I think she actually created this tag um, I know I did a youtuber tag before and I think I did a mom tag like way back in the day I think when I was pregnant at some point um, but not the YouTube mom tag so I think there's 12 questions 15 questions so I will try to answer them whenever I do these I'm like why didn't I read the questions before but I guess this way you get a more spontaneous honest answer I don't know so the first one is what is your YouTube channel name and what types of videos do you make and obviously if you're here you know that it is called a little about a lot and I make videos about anything and everything and that is why it is called a little about a lot because I basically share anything that I love that I think you might love that um, you might find interesting so I do like mom videos beauty makeup I love all all that stuff I've been kind of doing more vloggy stuff um, I love sharing products that I absolutely love that I think other people might not have heard of um, to me the most important videos to me are the ones that encourage people I try to do tidbits encouragement videos I've been introducing my husband in minute with my man where he answers your questions in a minute so basically really a little bit about everything so oh, I lost the questions next one when and why did you start your YouTube channel? I answered this question in the YouTuber tag, but basically I started a couple of years ago because I had a blog that was private just for my friends and they wanted me to do some things that were public and a lot of things were easier to show on video than they were to try to explain it, like how to do your daughter's hair or whatever. So that's why I started. I didn't really think it was beco gonna become a thing. I just thought, oh, I, I'll just upload a video and no one I didn't, kn I didn't know the magnitude of what YouTube was and that anyone can just watch you. Durr. What's the meaning behind your YouTube name? I guess I kind of answered that in question number one. Number four, when do you schedule time to film, edit, upload videos? Okay, I don't really have an upload schedule. I know a lot of people will upload on certain days of the week. I can't commit to that because I don't know what's going to be happening with my family, how my kids are going to be doing or what. So basically, I just try to film when I can if I get a spurt of time. My husband always, always, always tries to give me time to make videos, but sometimes you gotta be in the mood too. So usually on his days off, so usually on his day off, he'll give me a couple of hours. Um, he tries to give me as much time as I can, but usually I just try to do it if there is a spurt of time where the kids are napping or they're happy or playing with him. Um, and I try to film a couple in a row and then I try to release them you know not all at once but I'm I'm kind of I'm, it's like Christmas presents I can't save things I just gotta let them all go at once so a lot of times I'll come up with like three videos and then not have a video for three weeks so yes I don't really have a schedule what does a typical day look like when you have to make videos I think the major thing is probably I wear more makeup um, a lot of days I just if I have a chance to film I just run in whatever I'm wearing whatever is on my face is go time you know what I mean um, but if I have time I try to do look nicer but like today I'm making a couple of videos and my hair I went to bed with wet hair yesterday and I have nasty old hair but I was like well maybe the messy hair thing will look kind of on purpose um, but besides that I don't really do anything different what do you do when you need to make a video and the kids are not cooperating? I stop. They are my first priority. This is a hobby. So if they um, see I think they're taking a nap or you know they're like coloring or whatever, sometimes they come in next to me and they'll just do whatever. But if they need me or you know whatever, um, I shut everything down and they are my top priority. How do you balance YouTube and motherhood? I don't feel like it takes away from my life at all because I don't spend a whole lot of time on YouTube. Um, I know a lot of people spend a lot of time editing, a lot of time filming. I don't. I like filming is just like usually it's a one shot deal and if it doesn't work it doesn't work. Um, I, I can edit things pretty fast but that's also because I don't do fancy editing. I just cut out me going dur, 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 you know or just like stuttering or whatever. So that doesn't really take a whole lot of time. Um, I definitely think people who do daily vlogging, that would be a totally different world. And I don't know if I'm ready to enter that world. I would like to do more vlogs of like us going places just for home video sake. But um, especially mom, 
vloggers, daily vloggers, I just, I give it to them because a lot of people write a lot of unsolicited advice, criticism, judgment, and I don't think I'm at the place where I could deal with that or I want to deal with it. So, um, yeah, I, it doesn't really affect me that much because I don't do that much. Um, how has YouTube helped you grow as a person? I've met some really amazing people which have really helped me grow as a person, but I've also met some people well, not like face to face, but like any other community, there's going to be people where you're kind of like, what in the world? But I think uh, it has helped me grow to all... I trust people very quickly, and I usually believe that people have good intentions, and I, I would have to say that I've had a couple of, um, I guess, relationships with people that I've met on YouTube that I considered a friend, you know, but then you realize that people aren't always how they portray themselves on YouTube. I don't know, people are in different places. I think that a lot of people think that because you're not face to face, you can treat people with a lower level of respect of their time or whatever, I don't know. So. I think that it's taught me to be a little more cautious, which is good and bad with people. But yeah, I, I don't know. Is that an answer? How has YouTube affected your children and family life? Um, like I said, I don't feel like it has really changed my family life. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really think it's really... I hope in the future it provides my family with opportunities to you know, experience things. I mean, we've gotten to experience some things, go to some places, um, you know, through me blogging, but I hope to, I hope it helps them. Um, what does your significant other think about you making YouTube videos? My husband has been my number one supporter from day one, and he really pushes me really hard. Um, not pushes me he encourages me a lot he always is like you should make some videos or you did so good he is like a proud parent like to like sometimes I gotta be like zoom it up he carries around my business cards and hands them out to people and like he'll be like oh you would really like my wife's blog you know to the salesperson at Stato Brothers or whatever so he's like super proud and he super wants everyone to know and I'm not always there yet I still get embarrassed but he's so he is the most encouraging person he is the most encouraging person in all areas of my life does your family and friends know about your YouTube channel? Okay, I didn't really tell anyone for a really long time. Nobody that I knew it was like my secret hidden life. Um, but now most of my family knows. Um, I don't really promote myself that much, you know? Like I don't, uh, like I don't really put stuff on my personal Facebook and I don't really tell people. I don't, I'm not a selfless promoter, I guess. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Um, well, I would have to say Mommy Tips by Cole for tagging me because she has become a friend of mine and she just, I feel like I've known her forever and she's so encouraging, so loving. Um, so I like watching her. Um, let me think of people that, you know, there's certain people that you just always watch their video because they, like every video of theirs is good. I'm so hot. Um, like hey Claire I love her videos because she is so good at editing that woman can edit a video so I really like her I like watching graveyard girl when I'm feeling a little bit down because she has so much energy and she's so funny and she's just so real and she just doesn't care um, I feel like a lot of people are kind of too perfect all the time and I feel bad about myself. So I like watching people that are just real and fun and positive. I don't know, but there are definitely a lot of people that I like watching on the daily. I don't know, there's, there's quite a few. How do I get inspired for a video topic? I used to carry around a little book and I would write down little ideas as they came to me and I haven't really done that in a while. I feel like I need to do that more. A lot of times I'll do videos because someone has asked me a question or it's something that I've been thinking about. Um, products that I like. I don't know, you tell me. What kind of videos do you want?
tell me what is your main goal in having this platform on YouTube? My most important thing with blogging and YouTube is I hope to be an encouragement to people out there that maybe normally I wouldn't have the chance to meet or ever be around. So um, yeah, my most important thing is always to be a light and I just want to share God's love everywhere I go, wherever I am. So I'm hoping that through YouTube I can do those things too and just be like a big sister or, or you know, just be a friend or be a motherly figure or be a young sister, I don't know. Um, I just want to be a positive female influence in someone's life out there. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll talk to you later. Bye.